monitor on their phone. My phone will be on him, so. Say love. Shalom, shalom. It's the real Hebrew Israelites come to you weekend, week out. Make sure the brothers pick up because the fans. God, prophesy the downfall of America and teach the hope for the elect. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. That one that said the prophets and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, that are this, pushing this word with true sincerity and with charity. All right, so, uh, we're gonna get straight into it, you know. Basically, concerning conduct, when you come into faith, you gotta you gotta put off that old man and become a new creature. You know, so a lot of things you've done in the world in past time, you gotta get rid of that. You know, so uh, first scripture, uh, I'm gonna brother get uh, uh, Ephesians four and twenty two. Uh, I got a picture for you. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> because uh, in John, it's like in Job um, 10, and I think like verse 22, it tells you America is a place of darkness, even where that light is darkness, man. All right, it's talking about the, uh, where there is no order. So when you were in the world, when you grew up in America, guess what? You, you don't learn order. You don't learn uh, how to live correctly. All right, you learn how to be self-willed. That's all you want. know. All right, when it comes to the truth, that changes, man. The big thing about the truth is, is discipline. That's the beginning to, to wisdom. It's the desire of discipline. The spirit of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. What's that? The desire of discipline. The commandments. This is Rock 18, 14. He has mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgment. All right, so we got to we gotta discipline ourselves, put our body in subjection. You know, and, and like the brother Matthias brought out, man, uh, uh, that word for subjection is beach, uh, black and blue, man. So you got to beat yourself up, man. You got to put all that old shit off. Done. Done. And examine yourself, you know, whether you be in the faith or not. You know? uh, I got, yeah, I got yeah. This is Ephesians 4 and 22. Um, that you put off the off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful, the deceitful lust. Right. And when you look at when you go into that word conversation, it means manner, manner of life, conduct, behavior. So your old behavior in the world, you gotta you gotta uh, put that away. So you used to smoke weed in the world, it's going off according to the scriptures, man. You're supposed to put that away. You know, you used to pop uh, other women's uh other men's women, you know, that's that's going off according to the scriptures. You you gotta you gotta you gotta stop that. You know, being childish, you know, doing what you wanted to do, but now, you know, we gotta do what your help about Shana was shot want us to do. And walking this, walking this, uh, walking this path that we walking, you gonna mature. And your conduct should, you should grow. You know. And not only that, but you know, uh, uh, walking in the spirit. Yeah. You know, giving, uh, uh, giving your, uh, giving to your spirit the things it need instead of your flesh. You know, because a part of uh, that conduct, a part of that change, man, is, is not living after uh, the form of lust, as the scripture tells us. You know, uh, uh, mortify your members upon the, uh, upon this earth. Giving yourself discipline, desired discipline, because that's the first step of wisdom. Uh, scripture for you. This is uh Second Peter three. I'm gonna start at eleven. It says, "Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved." I'm gonna start at ten. Slide. This is uh, uh Second Peter three verse ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat." The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So that going into the uh, ICBM nuclear destruction that's going to take place. You know, that's the second death. The first uh, uh, world was destroyed by water. The second one going to be destroyed by fire, you know. And, and we hoping to uh, avoid that. That's why you walk uh, accordingly to the scriptures, you know. Walk in the hope of our salvation, like Paul said, right? And hey, this, place, this place is going to be destroyed. That's right. Whether you like it or not. Whether you believe it or not, whether you stay in the truth or not, just because you fall out the truth or, or, or quit the, the grind, hey, nigga, this place still is gonna be destroyed. Okay. That's why he said in that scripture, "What man of people ought you to be, man? You should be in this truth." So if you ain't in this truth, man, fuck you. This place gonna be destroyed. It's verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, 
what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? Which goes back to the brother broken down. It's the same word, manner of life, your conduct, how you carry yourself, you know? So what what what, what person ought ye to be? Because the Yahweh Basham Yahweh gave us the blueprint of how, matter of fact, this is a... Uh, this is Second Ezra 7, Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 21. It says, I'm going to start at 20. It says, for there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. You know, so that's why you're going to get these uh, said judgment placed upon you, right? Verse 21, for the Most High has given straight commandment to such as Cain, what they should do to live even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. So the Lord told us our conduct and how we should act to avoid these things, man. You find that all in the scriptures. That's not in the Ma'at. That's not in the fucking Bagab Gita. It's not in the Quran. It's, it's only in the scriptures. That's it. To the Lord, to the testimony. That's the only way you're going to renew your mind. You ain't going to find it in no goddamn Confucianism. Or Catholicism. <laughs> niggas, wicked, stupid niggas. I, I got one for you. Uh, I know it's getting more than I'm holding for you. Kind of slut. Uh, uh, this is the fact something the Matthias said up, man. Uh, I forget the actual quote, but it's Galatians 6 and uh, 7. Be not deceived. The most He said you can feed your spirit, you can feed the flesh. Mm -hmm. All right? It's Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sold, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap of the flesh. Slap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. For he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Mm. So, hey, uh, you, you feed into your flesh, that's why you're going to become more carnal. All right? And earn yourself that destruction, man. That's coming upon the church of disobedience, man. All right? If you reap to yourself uh, the spiritual, that's why you're going to grow more in the spirit. You become exercised with the spirit, like you said in Hebrews, the fifth chapter. All right, and, and, and earn your uh, uh, life everlasting, man. You have diligence to make that calling and lecture short. You know? You said not fail. God, that's right. You think you shall not fail. That's right. So, 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 so if we do this and continue and, 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 and to, uh, to watch our conduct and do the things that Yahweh Shemal Shah commanded us to do, we ain't going to fail. Right. That's why Paul and them had so much. They they was confident that they had a shot wasn't going to lead them, man. That they was a part of that number. They was, they was confident. They had confidence in the hope in the that he'd be saved. Yeah. Confidence in the hope. Confidence, confidence in the right. So it's not, it's actually not a, a wrong thing to have confidence that, that you have a shot going to come get you, man. I got a quick piece of This is uh, First Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up thy loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of your house like a martial. He said, Birth the Lord's not mine. <laughs> you gotta man up, man. <laughs> hey, hey, so, like it says in Romans the fifth chapter, uh, we go through our tribulation, that work patience, and that work and hope. We shouldn't be ashamed for man. So we gotta gird up, man up. All right. Uh 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 keep our integrity when, when that adversity comes, when affliction comes. All right, keeping that hope. All right, how about Shem Shai? Believing and knowing, and really, and, and knowing, man. All right, that when Yahweh Shai returned, and look, man, we're going to be as he is. As long as we endure and continue on these things, man. God, God, Galatians, back real quick, 6 and 9, because this is what they just said. That's spirit. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if, if we think not, man. So this this is the way to receive salvation, but you gotta continue with this thing, man. And you gotta continually put your flesh under subjection. Keep your integrity. Walk with an upright height, upright heart. All right, striving for the truth unto death, man. And then the Lord should fight for us, man. Oh, it's at this point in time in the game, it's evident all this shit has been happening, like the, the prophets been saying, starting with the apostles on down. They can the, the foot troops going to Syria, they bombing Syria. The uh, beat, beat, that that shit with these is big. They paying people ten thousand restaurants, ten thousand k to go cashless. So what man and person are you to be, man? We gotta get tighter, man. Captain, can you get Rome thirteen? Let me hold on that. Okay, uh, salvation. Uh, I was I've been thinking about that the whole time you talking. I haven't finished this one out for a while. Long. This is BJ four, 
and um, 23 and be ye re and be renewed in the spirit of your mind right so you got to be renewed in your mind that's what that's what it starts at you know so so all them things you gotta you really gotta get in these scriptures man and learn and grow you know you know, this is Romans 12 and 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right? So, all these ways of the world, man, going to the club. You know, always every to, week. Every week, you in the club, man, trying to get lined up and look crispy for everybody. Man. Smoking weed. Smoke, right? Like the brother say, smoking weed, drinking lean, popping pills. Hey, drinking too much liquor. Look, right, uh, drinking, uh, right? Drinking, right? Drinking, being, being, uh, Drunk. Uh, a drunkard, man. You know, cause hey, it's too much of that shit to fuck you up, man. Yeah, you fuck up your judgment, man. Right, right. man. Right. You, how you like tweet? Yeah. Emotional, bugged out. That's how, how, all, uh, that's how one of Macri's got killed. He drinking too damn much. He even he just slid his foot. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm gonna finish this up. Yeah. It says, uh, that ye may prove what is that good, that acceptable and perfect will of the most high. You know, so, so that's how you find out the, the will of the Lord, man, and how to walk perfectly, man. By these scriptures, by the renewing of your mind. It says, how can a man cleanse his way? No, I thought you had. I'm getting you know, right so. now. I'm getting right now. That's the spirit. Yeah, it's Psalms 119, verse 9. Where with thou shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Exactly, man. You know, in which in the book of Peter, uh, 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 Peter was going into uh, pretty much about baptism. But he said, not the uh, uh, the putting away of the flesh. So not you physically getting dumped in some water. The baptism comes spiritually, man. You washing your mind, man. You know, you being reformed. First Corinthians, the second chapter, the last verse, it says what? Hey, hey, we have known the mind of the Most High, but we have the mind of Yahweh Shai, man. So through Yahweh Shah, we understand and, and, and perceive these things, you know? Just real quick. This is Ephesians 5, 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. He might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spark or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Just how we get ourselves right, man. All right, by this word, man. This is what cleanses us, man. Corrects us, man. Right. Right. And applying the things that we learn, man. Right? You know? You can read you can read a million scriptures and not apply what you learn. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's so you, the key thing. That's yeah. the that's that's the point about being renewed in your mind. Yeah. Because if you quote all these scriptures but you ain't living after them, you ain't changed shit. You, you're still a nigga. And all I get is you understand. <laughs> because it says what? Be he not uh here only but a doer. Do and he that uh is not a doer, I'm roughly paraphrasing. But he that is not a doer is like what? It's like himself that holding his natural face in the glass. And what the scripture says, a natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit. So therefore, you 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 looking at the same old nigga you was, man. You just a nigga that no precepts, man. Yeah, your brother quoted a perfect precept. Do you read that? Uh, quote that again. It's one that teaches many, but it's unprofitable to itself. That's right. In the book of Sirach, man. That's why Paul said. That's why Paul said what, man? He said, "Hey, I put my body under subjection, lest I become a castaway, man." So the things that I teach, man, I gotta live it. Nah, what did he say? He said, "Does you do you tell somebody don't uh, commit idolatry? Yep. And you commit sacrilege? That's right. All right. That's right. You gotta you gotta you gotta, hey, you gotta uh, uh, I go practice what you preach. That's right. I guess. Like Gerald the first said, you walk it how you talking. You know? thought that was good right. Same nigga to eat shit. You know what I'm saying? Same nigga to eat shit. Same nigga to eat shit. Same nigga Hey, we get a scope video. See, I think it's very white. It says, "See, you better pull it off." That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. All right, uh, Galatians chapter five, verse sixteen. This I say then: Walk in the spirit, and ye shall ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. Mm -hmm. so you, you hey, like the scripture say also, man. He told Moses, man, keep these like them to frontless in, in before your eyes. Which that's the perfect thing, right? Because when you say a walk in the spirit, now the scripture that popped in my head was what John 6 and 63. These words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's how you walk in the spirit according to these words, the frontless, you know. So everything, so everything, everything you're doing, everything you you doing is supposed to be filtered through the scriptures, man. You see something happen when you see something, hey, honestly, that's the Lord talking to you, man. A scripture popping your head. The Lord, hey, look. Beware this. 
stay away from that you know you're walking in the spirit man watching hey man because there's plenty of times when you can look at something and the spirit will tell you tell you and then give you a scripture on top of it it says what's gonna meet you on every thought yeah yeah what's the wisdom i mean the fourth chapter this word god god which is the same thing with the spirit this word yeah. gotta be our promise that's the trial of man right yeah. you told Ezra's what this condition of the battle and it's what the rocket tells you reason the trial of man it's all about wisdom and making your decisions based off the spirit of uh, the scriptures man right even bad in the word man living according i got a piece up for you what you just said okay. uh, real quick this uh first john um three and eighteen mm -hmm. just going back to okay. Acting, acting this out, winning the court, and so, and so forth and so on. This is First John three and eighteen. It said, "My little children, let us love in word, and you know, the love is keeping the commandments toward the Most High to each other." All right. It said, "My little children, let us love, not let us love, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth." So you gotta walk it, man. You talk it and do it. I just run in your mouth. Right. Hey, what's the like the like the, the church folks say? God know my heart. Yeah, that, my heart. yeah, he do. That's why he said in Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, the heart is deceitfully wicked and desperate above all things. Who can know it? Ah, yeah, how it? Most I do know your heart. That's why he gonna kill your heart. That's right. That's right. First, what? This is a rock four and twenty nine. Because what what happened next? We said all the things you that we would do. So rock four and twenty nine. Be not hasty in thy tongue. And then they these exactly. slap every miss. Mm -hmm. Man, you gotta do what you what what yeah. what's written, man. You gotta live. Hey, because first Peter three says what? It says that uh it, it was talking about the women, how the women should conduct themselves and be in uh in, in reverence Chase and be in subject yeah. unto their husbands, yeah. that if any believe not the word, that they can be won by the conduct. Yeah. Now that's a woman. How much more a man, man? Yeah. Right. Shit, how how when you when brothers first come into faith, I mean, what's the first thing they say? I never met nobody like y'all. How y'all carry yourself and how y'all show love towards one another. Even your family Even when they your, see the transformation. That shit fuck them up. You know, it's like, like God, how, how could you just overnight? What the? You this weed mean? smoking, gang banging, pill popping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now all of a sudden, you know, he used to talk back. He used to do this and that. Overnight. He was a grimy ass nigga. He was all these things. And now he, he stands up tonight. Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? God, God. I got an answer to that right up. Good luck, brother. This is, um, Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in a mosh yacht, he is a new creature. A new creature, man. So it's the Most High who quickened us, man. So hey, the Lord woke us up out of that dead ass mind state, man. Hey, because the scriptures say one who who departed from the law of the Most High should should remain in the congregation of the dead, man. But the, but Yahweh Shnau Shah is giving us life, man. He woke us up out of that mind state, and and we do and. God and how do we keep and how do we like uh you wander from the law which is the scriptures man the spirit man so if you don't have this understanding you feel damn you're dead man yeah. let me read this off the comment board uh gms without remedy first corinthians 9 14. even so have the lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel and that's hey, not what uh, we're uh, that's uh, the point that's the point like if you really if you really believe this thing, you really gonna do the things like to obtain it, like the master them since you really if you hey for the scriptures say without um faith without works is dead. Yeah. You can say you were Israelite all you want, but you really gotta believe and do the proper things, man. Okay. Let me read it back up this, this uh Sirach nineteen and one. It says a laborer man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. He that contemns small things shall fall little by little. And the scriptures say, Hey, hate hate not the laborer's work. Because we got, we have to do this. You know what I mean? It's not a if, yeah. but like, you have to do this. Hate to work. You have to actually love, yeah. love doing this. So the scriptures say, "Hate not labor is work." Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't do it, and that day you gonna be looking for that oil. You're not gonna have it, man. You're gonna get beat with many stripes, man. Right. Because you you heard the truth and you didn't do it, man. You was been a nigga, man. So you you sitting there got the scriptures in your hand, but you ain't practicing what you preach. You've been the same nigga since day one. Been a hypocrite. Been a hypocrite. Ain't no way, ain't no way in hell you should be the same dude the first day you woke up in the truth to three, four, five years later. It should be right. It should be it should be some type of increase with your conduct. 
It's a disciple with no discipline. That's the type of nigga in that day. <laughs> that doesn't make no sense. Man. That's the type of motherfucker in that day where the Lord might test your ass so you ain't ate like a fucking three weeks and a pig walked by. And your ass is slaughtered and eat that motherfucker raw because you didn't have the discipline then to get you through. You didn't have the discipline now to get you through then. Uh, read that over. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, Sirach 19 and 1. It says, A laborer man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. He that contemn of small things shall fall little by little. Right, and that contempt, you know, contempt of small things is basically uh, disregard small orders. What we do consider. So you start disregarding shit, letting this go, that. Now, nah, this don't matter. This make like, shit light. Right, make it shit light, man. All right, T. Bishop says, this, You shall fall little by little, man. Because you ain't just bought the whole truth, but you ain't, you ain't get your conduct right. You didn't do that checklist in that second Peter's one, five through ten. All right, so you didn't, we was lacking. You didn't, you didn't see it far off, man. And what's the same was with Solomon five, man? The spirit of, I'm gonna get it real quick. Not having that vision. Yeah. Huh? This was the Solomon one and five. But the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the seat and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness coming in. So if you can tell me little, little things, like I said, you're going to fall little by little to the point, hey, you ain't got no discipline now, man. Now the spirit the spirit of this is gone, man. This truth is out of you completely, man. Now you're using scriptures to smoke weed. I mean, you got yeah. scriptures to go commit adultery now. Because you should be getting yourself oh, more in order. More, oh, you should man. get yourself more in order. Become more adventurous. Get more upon it. Says 1 Peter 5 and 8, man. Romans 13 and 11, man. Negative. All right, you got to get tighter and tighter, man. Not contempt little and little. Like, no, you got to keep growing. This shit can be over. Give yourself more discipline. Chasing yourself more. Increasing in this level more. All right? Increasing in this level more. Doing this. Doing, and you, it's, it's always something to do and grow when it's truth, man. You never go far enough. And, and, and the Heavenly Father, he puts you in situations to make you grow. If you're doing what you're supposed to do as a man of the Lord, you're gonna, he's going to put you through things and put you in situations so you can learn from it. You know what I mean? So, so that fire hits you. And when they fight, that fight, that refining process was worked with, uh, which is through suffering, well made perfect. Right. You know, so not because uh, the scriptures say, but much wood and come much grief. Yeah, you got to so, really understand that like, your life in this truth is going to suffer. But it's all it's all for the kingdom because of what we're not really living. It's easy just to, to cope with it knowing that shit is going to suffer. But it's for your betterment, though. It's, it's, it's all for the aid, hey, it's all for the greater good, you know. Uh, I'm sure I'm for, uh, GMS without remedy again. Sirach one and twenty nine. Be not an hypocrite in the sight of men, be, and be. take good heed what thou speakest. Right, because because what's gonna happen, man? You gonna somebody? Oh, nigga, you were just doing this yesterday. You told me this. You you gonna be show the hypocrite, man? You told me to do one thing, and you turn around and do it, man. It's gonna be a downfall because they say a man, a man like that only fears the eyes of men. That's right. Yeah. You go ahead telling these men. Oh, you hold it? No, he had to lose it. Go ahead, Brooks. Um, Second like Corinthians seven and um twenty one, providing for uh, providing for honest things not only in the sight of the Lord but also in the sight of men, man. You know, so so yeah, you know we you know we doing this you know to, uh, to put the eyes off your shot, but also to be an example for others, man. Be kind, be right, because if you made an overseer of the flock, your conduct got to be a certain way. So, like the scriptures say, uh, so the ruler, so is his officers. So, if your conduct is bogus, it's gonna trickle. It's the trickle down effect. It's the vibration. It God, yo, it's gonna it's gonna leak off into your men. You know what I mean? So you gotta make sure that you're walking in the spirit constantly, and your men through the spirit and your vibration is gonna bump, is gonna rub off on them. Yeah, man. You well, know, you like to change, man. You can't have no you can't have no weak links, man. You gotta we quote the scripture. You gotta lift the feeble knees. You know, you, that, that one, that one small thing. Like I'm trying to think of something like big that runs off one small thing, but like that fucking bicycle. Come, bicycle. Jump with the chain. Well, you have to say, uh, you know, as the ruler, the people is so want to teach them to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you already. Yeah, we do. We grab. That's what I was going into, right? Yeah, yeah. It's one scripture that even say, uh, <laughs> "Hey, by many the world, I believe it's called, by many the world was uh, condemned, but by one the world should be saved." One little thing can get you fucked up, and it's true. I mean, by it, one so the big world big. was condemned by one. They didn't sin after the sin of Adam. Yeah. So by one man's sin, 
that came to the world by one man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was one man both ways, but it's still the same thing. That one little seed of evil, look how great it grew, man. I got the um, scripture of Apostle Paul. Um, this is uh, Sirach 10 and 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. Right. And what manner of man the rule of the city is, such are they that dwell therein. Right. So if you got a, if you got a, if you got a, uh, look at America, man. I'm just a, look look go America, ahead. I'm just going to say like America. Like look at America. America promote homosexuality, man. Everybody faggots. Now, now everybody want to be fucking right. faggots, man. You know, look at, look at, look at these other caps, man. Look at Nate. A big snake, man. And look at look at the rest of his officers, man. Big, snake. big snakes, man. You know, big big snakes, man. You know, but then but then you got righteous righteous brothers, you know, they come in the faith as that learn under the apostles and the elders that were set under them. And and look at those brothers, conduct, building in the faith, growing, uh bringing forth you. fruit and their fruit remaining, you know. Real quick, now, this is um <clears throat> Proverbs twenty seven and seventeen. As iron sharpening iron, so a man sharpening the countenance of his friend. Right. So if you 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 around a brother, hey, because if a brother if a brother rebuke you through the spirit, if you going off, whether he said nice or sharp, he he's his, his conduct is telling you, look, I, that shit bogus. He watching for your he's soul. watching for your soul. So through the spirit to build you up. So now you know you're an overseer and you have a responsibility to the flock as well. So the same, so now you just hey tribulation tribulation work of patience. Patience yeah. work of experience, experience, experience work of hope. hope. Hebrews the fifth chapter yeah. speaks on what? A man of experience that exercised their body. Yeah. So you go through these things for when they, hey, younger brothers come into the faith, man, guess what? We we got uh, like the apostles before us, like our elders of the camp before us, you know what I'm saying? And us brothers, man. Like now now when the uh, the new brothers come in. We got the experience. We we did that. We, went through. we lived that. The same thing yeah, apostles know, tell man. us, man. You know, it's for a reason, man. Because yeah, while you with the brothers, you you the strongest motherfucker in the world. But how strong are you? You not with the brothers? Hey, like the scripture say, not in my presence, also, but also but much more. much more in my absence. Yep. Because you by yourself, when you around your brothers, that energy, man, the demons ain't around like that, man. And it's you got other eyeballs on you. Like God. I said, the eyes of men is around. God. It's about when you are not around you and what you're doing. Right, God. right. even God. even 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 go off niggas like hold their peace around the, the Oscar. You know, then they go off. <laughs> they go secret. they go you back, they go back and do their even they got some type of discipline with right. some of them. Right. So know? right. So when you at that barbecue you know what I mean? Seven, eight o'clock, man, then they bring out a plate of ribs and to that you, brunch, you know that you know brunch, hey yeah. man, you supposed to turn that shit away. Like you, why you you know I'll eat that? Why you bring this to me, man? But you know, I'm, I'm gonna get this scripture quoted, man. Nah, nah. This is uh, Philippians two and twelve. It said, "My wherefore, my brethren, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling." Right. right. So, so you supposed to be afraid, man. Being, being having a godly fear towards the most high, man, to keep your conduct on point. Well, when you look up the word godliness in the Greek, God. that's what it goes into. God. Having God. having, having a fear. Yep. God. Yep. So if you if you truly fear your how about you mouth shot, you're gonna get your shit together, man. That's right. You're gonna you're gonna do what you need to do so we don't fail, man. So we don't have to see that fire. So we don't have to get beat with many stripes. But if your conduct ain't on point, it's over for you. Being, uh, being tempered, you're not you're not gonna That's be able to, uh, basically like being tempered. You're not gonna be able to weather the storm when the um when the when the afflictions get increased, man. Like you read about Abraham having to sacrifice Isaac. You when those when those trials really come upon us, you gonna think back to moments like these. You know, I mean, these are these are the things that you learn. That's what you're gonna rely on, man. And if you're not if you're not store that up like in your spiritual bank account. You know what I mean? The scriptures talk about uh, it's a parable. To say uh, what man uh, build like build a tower and sit it down, not to count the cost. You gotta really uh, like have the apostle the Bible. So you really gotta know and think about what you got yourself involved in because those things and we not greater than your house. Those same things are gonna come upon us. And it's like yeah, we, we like I was even making this video. We sit down saying these things that come and they really gonna happen. You know what I mean? You really gotta meditate and hope that the Lord be with you. Like I'm saying, store up your 
you gotta be the discipline now to get you through then. I gotta switch it, bro. If you, if you can't, if you can't stop simple as getting something simple as getting a fucking lineup now, it's like you, the, the, the first day in Jacob Trump, you gonna die. You 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 gonna yeah, you gonna you gonna, gonna take the chip. You gonna, you gonna get take the chip. Line. You gotta get a line. You you go get in line. Oh, you, you need get the line. You go get in that that chip line, man. You nigga, you nigga, you know what it like is. Like your say, man. You niggas right. line up for the structure. Right. You know? When it's, when it's really in front of you, it's different. <laughs> how you just, how you just, how you can, uh, I, I, yeah. it's like you can just, we can just say this song you want, but it's different when you actually live in the shit. It's going to be different when you actually there and face with that, and you have to make that choice. That's that, why you have to. That goes to the parable of the, uh, of the soul. The one that, that, that endured for a moment, but once a uh, affliction rose, they fell out, man. Just so that's why we go through certain shit now, man. So we can get built up. So when shit hit the fan, we know we got that thing. Uh -huh. How about you shot? What did Paul say? That's the thing. Paul said what he said. And I went through this, and Citra went through this. Yeah, the but world. the Lord delivered me out of all of them. And that go, that's that's the the tribulation work of patience. Patience work is hope. You know, I butchered it. But the fact is that we go through shit, and we see the power of Yahweh Shemeshat deliver us out of it, man. That's gonna be a, a a reminder in that day, man. All right, yeah, look yeah. at the gen days of old. Who did the Lord ever despise? Even your own black ass. When you've been in truth for this little bit of time, and you've been in this jam and that jam, the Lord got you out of all of them, man. Jams yeah. uh, that could have been avoided if you put yourself in. Jams right. that the Lord also you put you in just to test you. Test you, know you know what I mean? But you you gotta really the trial of your faith. It talks about that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You gotta keep that integrity, man. That's why it's important in your day to day life to have that conduct already. All right, that that order discipline already. So when that shit arrives, guess you're gonna be on. Vigilant, man. That's the whole that's what it boils down to. First be the fast and they hold it on that. Hey, it says uh that the trial of your faith, which is way more precious than gold, man. That's man, you know, that's what the scripture says, man. You know, it's nothing to compare uh 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 yeah. Man, like, 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 this wisdom knowledge and understanding we are learning, man. Hey, well, all throughout Proverbs, she, she is more precious than any rubies. Ooh, she gold. is above the price of any gold or silver and precious stones, man. You know. Yeah. Yeah. This is hey, 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 this is what makes a man, man. And ultimately, right. this is what makes a man of you. How about shot me our shot? Go ahead, read that one. This is um, Colossians chapter 3, <clears throat> verse 1. If ye then be risen with the Mashiach, seek those things which are above, but Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Hey, that's this wisdom knowledge understanding that we store it up, man. Matthew's uh, the sixth chapter says, What store your uh, riches in heaven and not on earth? Because on earth, what? Uh, Mall, thief can come steal. Who is the thief? And we were talking about this last night, man. A couple brothers, we were just sitting around, you know. And we was chopping it up through the spirit, man. You know, hey, 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 Esau took everything from us, man. He took our identity. He took our heritage. He took everything from us, man. But this is the only thing he can't take from us, man. Our faith in his word, our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. What's he can't touch third? this, man. What's up, just two third wicked ass niggas, man? The scripture say that no man take thy crown, man. Hey, it ain't nothing, hey, man. Going into that Romans the eighth chapter, the last couple of verses, man. We ain't gonna let nothing. This is uh this is just to uh, bring out the scripture that the brother quoted from Romans eight and eighteen. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start at seventeen. If if children then heirs heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Mashiach, if if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be uh we may be also glorified together for i reckon the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us so the little things that you go through to try to try you and and, and to and to make you a, a a better servant you know what i mean a, a better uh a man for your how about you know shot if you go what we're going through now ain't nothing it's, it's, that's why it's a light affliction because it may seem heavy right now you know because hey what the scripture say nothing uh no chastisement for the present time seem as joyous 
but it worketh a peaceable end, man, that we're going to actually be at peace and at rest. Yeah, if we continue to stay in the spirit and watch our conduct, only thing you hope Hashem Al-Shah want us to do is be obedient. Simple. Sure, man. He wants reverence. God. How do you how, how do you reverence him by being obedient? Being, being, that's showing you you love. Because he said, yeah. "What if I be a god? Where is my fear, yeah. man?" Yeah. That's why he gonna come back and, and show himself, man. He's gonna show out, man. Yeah. He's gonna show all you non-believers that he is, man. Yeah. And can you jump to thirty-five on that, bro? God, God. And you gonna read that to the end? God. And just a quick point. This like, is uh, I was thinking about like uh, Michael Jordan. Well, he didn't get great overnight by not hey that that putting in that work. That's the suffering. You know what I mean? You're gonna fall, you gotta get back up. You're gonna fall again, you still gotta get back up. But that's that's how that motherfucker got there. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's like us, man. We ain't gonna obtain the kingdom by not putting in the work. Not right right now. Right, this is good. Right. You know, this is uh Romans eight. Romans eight, I'm gonna uh, jump to verse thirty four. Who is he that condemneth? Is Mashiach that died? Yeah. Rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the most high, who also make an intercession for us. Hey Yahweh Shah, hey, he's a you thought it not robbery, be evil with Yahweh. You know, hey, he had the power there, but he still did what man? He put it in the work, man. He kept his integrity. When Satan tried him, he still kept his integrity. Yeah. And, and and who and who and who and who's uh when we pray, we asking for Yahweh Shah for strength to go through these things. So they, what the scripture say? Uh, he give liberal, ask of him, who give liberal, 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 you know. Liberal. So if you lacking in something, you feel like something in your con, because deep down inside, I say this all the time, we all know what we got to work on. Yep. Do the spirit. Because the spirit is, if the, if Yahweh Shah is truly something with you, he's telling you. What you need to tell you, or he right. had another brother tell you. Right. And he uh, probably didn't listen to me or something, but the Lord lets you know. God. You know, so you know what you need to work on. So you pray to Yahweh Shai. Hey, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Shai, I need this. Help me be more diligent. Help me do this. Help me be, uh, help me, uh, give me endurance. Give me strength for the trials that's coming. You know, you know what you got to ask him for. You know, it says, sure, uh, if you don't know, hey, you should know. Man, Lord, you know, you know, probably tell you, what you don't. I mean, I know yeah. I'm going to stop with that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Lord, man, Lord should be able to examine himself. What did it say? You said you should judge yourself. Yeah. So when the judgment comes, you, you know, basically you miss it, man. Yeah, yeah. It said, who, sh who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Shall, shall tribulation or okay. distress? Is this the point? God. Is this the God. point? Who God. shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah, man? Who shall separate us from this truth, man? God. You know, shall tribulation, shall the shit you're going through? God. We mentioned the parable of the sword. You know, when the affliction arose, you know, certain day, the, 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 I think that's the one where uh, it fell into thorns and the thorns choked the word. You know, that's the afflictions uh, arising, you know? It says, or, or persecution. Oh, because because you get persecuted because your family turning back, you might get arrested for the word. You know? Or famine. Oh, famine. Famine. You know, hey, according to the faith, what Isaiah 65, the chapter says, what? My servant shall eat, man. Or nakedness. You know, or peril, or sword, said as that is is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. So for for how how long has the prophets continued to do what they do, put their life on the line and literally die? You know what I'm saying? And go out manfully. Look at what Ste Stephen went through. Hey. Look at the seven sons. Check this, right? <laughs> just hearing that, just hearing that in, 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 in the scripture where Yahweh I said that uh from uh from the blood of Abe, righteous Abel, God. all the way to the blood of Zacharias, and that was during Yahweh Shah's time. God. So God. then you add on the blood of Yahweh Shah that they said uh let it be on us and on our children. God. Then you add on the blood of after that the oh, apostles, God. you know, God. then you add on uh, uh the men that died in this time, you know, Elder God. Bivens, God. you know. Hey man, I do not want all that blood. All that blood is gonna be upon two thirds of our people, man. They asked for it. They, they said they 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 all from from the blood of righteous Abel all the way till the end, man. Hey, it sound cliche, but you asked for it, dumbass. Nigga. Like like that's a heavy judgment, man. Hey, I fear that, man. It's scary. That's scary as hell. Hey, so so feel that fire, man. You feeling that fire, man? 
for a long ass time. Hey, one of the missiles burned 300 million degrees Fahrenheit, man. On top of on top of the Lord's oh, spirit, go they got that measure that hot that shit was. Oh no, I don't know, how, I don't I don't know how hot, but hey, the scripture says what, man? Hey, your eyes gonna melt out your goddamn yeah, socket. Hot, your mouth gonna, uh, your tongue gonna melt out your mouth, man. Yeah. Why you standing upon your feet, man? That's intense heat. Hey, hey, it's it's the elements, you, man. Bro, the elements, elements shit, show melt with fervent heat. Yeah. I don't know how hot it is, but that shit gonna yeah. burn, boy. Well, put it like this: it, it, to make glass, you put heat to sand. But it says it's gonna turn the glass back to sand. How much heat does it take to turn the glass God, back to fucking sand? That's just some shit the Lord knows, man. It's gonna turn it back to elements, man. Okay. Shit, you don't want to be a part of that. Hey, that's the, that's the breakdown. You do not want to be a part of that, man. Hey, so yeah, like the scripture says, we have a sure uh, uh, word of prophecy. So you do well to take heat, man. Not, I was just speaking about that. Your house, like how, uh, your house, I said, uh, these things I have told you in the beginning. So, uh, how we know what to do, man. And hey. uh, given that choice, it's like, look, you either going to strive for this and you had the hope that you may obtain the kingdom, or you're going to fucking go down this road, you're going to be fucking destroyed. Hey, everything that the Lord told us is going to happen, happened to us. Everything. So, yeah, why not this? Why not this? Why not the destruction? Everything happened. So no, she no, wish no. it be more faith added into you. Hey, because, <laughs> hey, because, hey, Every us, bread in the bread, man. More faith unto me, man. Right? Us as Israel, man. Yeah. Look, look, look. This is, uh, uh, real quick, you jump yeah. back to that Romans. This is 2nd Ezra 7 and uh, 9. It says, If this city now were given unto a man, this city represents the kingdom of heaven, man. Holy Jerusalem, right? If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. So us as Israelites, man, whether two-thirds or whether hopeful elect, hey, this is our lot. This is our portion. This is what we have to suffer and this is what we have to go through. I'm going to jump down to verse 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for the wise. So uh, hey, the righteous men have that hope in them, right? It says, for they that have done wickedly, the two thirds, have suffered the straight things. So they're going to still suffer the straight things and yet shall not see the wise, man. So anyway, it goes as an Israelite, we're going to suffer. So what? Are you going to suffer for y'all by Shabbat Yahweh Or are you going to suffer as a wicked nigga? The scripture says what, man? Hey, 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 suffer not as an evildoer, man. That's right. And if any man suffer as a Christian, happy are ye. So I'd rather suffer for this word, man, than, 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 than suffer anyway and be a wicked ass nigga. Because right. any way it goes, you gonna go through it. Yeah. Hey, it's niggas, right? It's niggas, right? They say I'll go for 15 years and do life in prison, man. That's suffering for being a nigga, man. Hey, we just out here, you know, we get jacked up, we get flat tired and shit. Our girlfriend get emotional, wanna leave us. You know, what else? We get fired. Oh, family, we can get kicked out of the house. Oh, we can't pay our rent. Whatever, man. Shit happens. But it's, hey, but if, if you're doing that because the most high, um, doing the Sirach too, the Sirach, the second chapter to you, hey, man, call the loud Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Job said, um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, give it, you take it away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. We ain't deserve it. We deserve it anyway. Yeah. So, look, whatever, man. Do it for the end. This is uh Second Corinthians chapter four verse seventeen. For for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, but for a moment, but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and an eternal weight of glory. And that's the hope. That's the hoping for the wide. The wide is the kingdom of heaven, man. The wide is that 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 that, that glory. You know, the wide is uh having the hope of uh, of that crown being placed upon our heads, man. Finally being able to say. Hearing, hearing those words, man. Well done, my good and faithful Thank servant, you. man. Woo. Hey, hearing those words, man. Hey, you know what? Hey, that's in the Hebrew, the Hebrew uh, um, hearing, he, hearing the Savior, Yahweh Shah himself, man, telling you that that you did a good job, man. And we we constantly beat up ourselves and knowing we we, we ain't shit and knowing we fall short constantly, man. You know. Motherfuckers in the world, they don't examine themselves and, and, and go get yeah, it. You, know, like, you don't understand the pressure. You don't understand the the, 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 the the totality of a man in the truth, man. You don't understand these things, man. What what, what goes through the, these men's minds up here, man? 
knowing that you constantly fall short, knowing that you constantly fucked up, knowing that you ain't worthy to receive the things that you receive. And you gotta keep going. But you and you gotta keep going, man. That's that, that hey, that's that's the hope that we have, man. The Ephesians second chapter says, What while we were Gentiles, that we were without Yahweh Shai, without hope in the world, man. Now we have that hope. The water Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Yes, 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 yes. And, and that hope is what what, what, what fuels you, is what it, it, it what keeps you going, it what motivates you and put that fire in you, man. Because you have a hope of being saved, man. You have a hope of pleasing our father after after since the creation of this uh, and being disobedient and let him die man you know this is uh for second corinthians 4 and 18 while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen where the things which are seen are temporal where the things which are not seen are eternal right so so right now, this world right here is, t is this, this shit is temporary, man. The kingdom is gonna last forever, man. It's, a, it's gonna be a kingdom without end, man. So uh, the, the 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 rulership, the, what we're looking for is to never be on the bottom again, from being from being taken from being the tail to being the head. You know, from having to 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 be in the presence of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. You know, being able to sit at that table, drinking that wine fresh hey, with the outside of the kingdom, man. I, I, I just, hey, the things he he been preparing for us, man. For a long he's, time. For, he said, man, I'm going to my father to prepare a place for you, man. You know, how many years it took Yahweh to, to build his house? What, seven years? If I'm not mistaken, Solomon. 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 Yeah, it was fourteen. God. No, it was, no, it was fourteen for Solomon. Solomon. It was seven for the temple. Right, seven for the temple for eight. So just. He has Two. spiral stairs. I got to say this, man, because it's wrong. He has spiral stairs in his goddamn crib, man. That shit took 14 years. Gold on top of that. Beating gold, beat gold that vessels he had. Shit, the the, yeah, beat, the beating gold vessels. Oh, the, the, the shield, the brass shields, hey, the, the Judah, gold man. shields, Judah, the, the lions. Hey, look at, look, look at it like this. When the queen of Sheba came, she fainted, bro. She fainted. Can you imagine seeing something so glorious that you pass out? The, the nigga woman, a, a woman on top of that. The nigga, oh, she's seeing that she got weak in the knees. So just think, just think in the kingdom, just think in the kingdom, in in, in the full glow, Yasharala, in a full glow. Gold so pure, it, it looks like glass. The top yeah. layer is like yep. glass, like a mirror. Yep. That's how pure and shiny is. Like the top layer is glass, man. I gotta draw the cartoons and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's gonna be like, man. You got niggas trying to obtain a cinder block mansion or some shit. <laughs> they want a Mayweather. Yeah, like to have a solid gold mansion, a platinum mansion. Your yeah. mansion made out of platinum. This shit has your mansion has a, a fucking vibration when you walk with the ground. The ground has a, a vibration to it. Meanwhile, you got niggas trying to hold them to fucking. Uh, a hardwood, a great yeah, wood, is hardwood. Hey, yeah. yeah. that's the hope, because the scripture says, "A uh, 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 he that have this hope within himself." Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. You, you niggas, man, you hold on to this. Uh, uh, I call it America just an illusion. Yeah, they got they right. have a spirit. I was saying, chasing the shadow, bro. Yeah, the shadow. <laughs> you can't catch it. It's you know, like, like, it's like, it's like, like on the cartoon, they in the desert. They think they, they see water and rap right? Yeah, yeah, they get right that motherfucker turn right and see in their mouth. <laughs> this is uh first John three. I'm gonna start at the top. It says because it all goes into the our, our conduct, man. It all goes back to the conduct how you carry yourself, man. You know the uh, of the Romans, the second chapter. It says what that a Jew is not one outwardly just because a nigga say he is like don't mean shit, man. Yeah. Hey, a Jew is one inwardly. A Israelite is one that's renewed in the mind, that's living after uh, uh, our customs, man. Yeah, Joel eight and eight, prepare thyself for the uh, uh, search of thy yeah, fathers, God. man. Jeremiah the six, uh, the sixth chapter, the sixteenth uh, uh, verse. It says what that the Lord said, uh, uh, search for the old past, wherein is the good way, man. Yeah. You know how Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob walked and lived, man. You know how King David conducted himself. You know he was wise, wise in all his ways. This is uh First John three and one. It says, "Beloved, so it's like it. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the Most High." And that's heavy within itself. 
because being called a son of God, being called Yasharala, hey, 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 it's a type of conduct that, that, that you uh, conduct yourself with being called Yasharala, man. You know? So being able so him adopting us back, man, hey, 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 we got to live accordingly, man. We represent him upon this planet. You know? That's right. It says, uh, therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, man. Right? Verse 3 is the point. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. So that's what keeps us uh, uh, purified and keeps us uh, 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 fueled and keeps us fired up, man. It's the hope that we have. You know to receive these things man it said that abraham did what a, 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 against hope he had hope man so therefore we gotta have that same mindset man we gotta keep this hope man it says in hebrews the 11th chapter that none of them received the uh, uh the promises but yet they had the hope that they would receive it man we and, and we gotta have that mindset of our ancient forefathers man you know yeah yeah they went through the ranker boy they went through the ranker man Hell, Peter got his head cut off upside down. You know what I mean? And they, and they, they went out mad, like, gloriously. Because they had that hope, man. Hey, and like the brother said, hey, they didn't receive it. Like, this, this is the time, we live in a yeah. time that we actually don't see the Lord come back and destroy this place. In those lifetimes, they didn't live to see that. But they still conducted way better than us. And I'm starting with me, goddamn way better than us sure, but sure. but we actually gonna be the, the um the generation to see the most high really come back and destroy this place and hey, what do y'all wish i tell the uh, apostles that many kings and prophets desired, desired to, see, yep. to see, see the things that you did. looked into and were not able man hey, because they, they they were the same men coming back you know and the priest that just said right so it's uh, right 18 and uh 20. it said before judgment examine thyself and the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy he, he quoted it earlier. Then you quoted it earlier. That's the spirit, man. Hey, you had niggas hey, going to court, they get all put their suit on and shit, they line their face up, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They just yeah. going to see Esau. How much more us going to see y'all yeah. shot? <laughs> hey, they do it in right. jail. They do it in jail. When you're in county jail and shit, you might be in those bullshit in the county jail. <laughs> These niggas get a whole goddamn suit. They get a line. Yeah, like you said, they get a line. Then they go in the goddamn <laughs> suit, man. No, I'm talking about niggas that's oh, they, actually in jail they already. They got their family to bring up a suit. They ain't going hell no, I ain't putting on a motherfucking suit. Just to say guilty. Just to the motherfucker right, just man. to say guilty. They get a way for two hundred dollars. Don't get your ass fresh just for them to say yeah, man, 15, 300 dollars. Fifteen to twenty. Fuck out of here. I hate that shit, man. But hey, that's, that's that's the niggas the niggas fear Esau, man. Does, niggas really father. want to present themselves to Esau, man. You can have some killing two niggas that look just like you. You want to get on super time for a hunky, man. Hey, Just that's, slam your motherfucking hey, ass. Because that's their father. Yeah, like, it is. Right? Say, yeah, yeah. You are your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you will do. Hey, we scared. Hey, we we, we, we yeah, fear yeah, our father. Yeah. We fear our father. We don't right. fear Esau. Right, you right. Know? That's, that's their father. Right, that's their father, you know. So we doing the things that's necessary for us so we can literally see our father. And, yeah. judgment. <laughs> and that goes back to what? What was that? The book of Susanna? Uh, when uh those two elders tried to uh, yeah, uh try to entice him you know what i'm saying kind, she kind, said kind. what she said look it's these two against me i'm the only one here she said look i'd rather fall into the hands of the lord than into the hands of these two wicked niggas oh, man yeah, was yeah. The man. Oh, the and, lord. and that was a woman man right, having right. hope and faith in y'all by shot me on shots so how much more a man bro and david said the same thing david said i'd rather fall in with that king david he said he'd rather fall into the hands of the lord than the hands yeah. of men that's right because the lord told him three things mm -hmm. to do that was david yeah, he said, look, man, whatever the Lord want to do, man. Let me put that back to work. I got something. Uh, it says, let nothing hinder thee to pay the cost. Oh, well. It says, humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sin, show repentance. And hey, you want to, before you be without, you know what I mean? The Lord will take shit away from you to put that fire on your ass. And, um, it says, let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, and defer not until death to be justified. Because how why you how shy is the God of the living? If He calls you now to go do these things, you you we we, we hit it. It's just blood in, blood out. It's only one way. One way you gonna get through it. It's only one way to really 
If he waits, like he's he waits to get out. He you either gonna do what's called you to do, and he gonna see fit to take you up. You may do what he called to do and get put to death, and he still gonna take you up. And it's like, you might just get put to put to death and get not doing what you called to do. Hey, we in it, man. This is a vow, man. And how they say to death do us part? You get we have to run this race, man. Yeah, you get it. it all right, y'all. Uh, first Matthew chapter two verse fifty. Uh, this is what Dias talking to his son. He said, "Now therefore, my son, be zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Sure. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, so you receive great honor and an everlasting name." It's all about the name, man. Really, uh, what this really? Yeah. Uh, was not Abraham found faithful in temp temptation, and it was imputed on him for righteousness? And what, and what happened, man? He was gonna slay Isaac, man. He was gonna, he was gonna kill his only son that he had to wait forever for. He, said, oh. he was gonna, he was gonna, he was gonna slay him, but the Most High, he stopped him, man. He said, hey, 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 okay, I was just testing you, you know. Hey, but that was that was accounted to him for righteousness. And Abraham name uh and his name is everlasting. Man, you still hear only one thousand years be written here. in the book of life. God. God. Sure. Joseph in the time of his distress kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. So even though Joseph was in that jam, he still prayed to the Heavenly Father, man. He kept his integrity. He kept it kind. He, he kept, kept his integrity, God. man. He didn't God. sell out for a piece of poon tang pie, man. God. He kept his integrity. And the most high blessed him uh, hundredfold. Shit. He was he was literally the, the ruler of Egypt, yeah, pretty much. He was. Look, he was the ruler of Egypt. Pharaoh ain't do shit. Joseph did everything. He, was saved. he, he, he was originally Egypt became Egypt. God. Before then, it was split up into twelve uh, known shit. You know? hey, he and hey, Pharaoh said it. He said, uh, 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 "Thou art greater than me." Only, only besides the God, throne, God, pretty much. God, you know God. what I'm saying? So he let he was sitting on the throne, but shit. Joseph, Joseph was, was the man in charge because he wasn't of a uh, he wasn't a hemite. Because he wasn't of a hermetic bloodline. That's that's it. But he really ruled each. Like 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 the brother who talked one, your picture just said it, man. He ate. He did everything. The Pharaoh didn't do shit. The Pharaoh just, hey, that's how it is. When he died, it was someone sit on the throne. That's why when um when he died, what did they say? Another Pharaoh reign that knew not Joseph. But other than that, he ruled each. He just wasn't a hermite. Skip down verse 59. Anias, Azarius, and Mishael. No, you skip down if you read through. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, that's uh, hot. That's hot. That's, right. that's Matthias. That's Matthias exhorting uh, uh Judas. He, he exhorting his sons, man. Encouraging them, man. And in these words, hey, hey, Romans 15 and 4, the things that are written before time are written for our learning that we through comfort and faith in the scriptures might have hope, man. Roughly paraphrased, you know. But this comfort in to hear these things, man. Hey, because you can you you link this up with Sirach 2 and 10, the brother quoted earlier, man. Look at the generations of old, you know. I was told. Go ahead, bro. Benias, Benias, our father, in being zealous and firm, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Right, which is Phineas, man. You know, and you can read that. I believe he was the son of Eleazar, which Eleazar was the son of uh, Aaron, man. Yeah, Phineas, he went in, killed them bitches. With uh, that, that was nigga, the javelin. The nigga, the nigga was, he was, uh, yeah, he killed his own too. He killed the Midianite. He put him through. Yeah, because they they was getting jacked up for committing idolatry. Then um, yeah, the Book of Numbers. Then uh, yeah, he coming, he come to the camp with some Midianite hoe. He didn't even ask no questions, man. He went there and killed them pieces of shit. That two third ass nigga and that even more that he was with. All right, uh, Yahushua, talking about Joshua. Yahushua, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Okay. And they get all this through faith, man. Yep. You know, they had that hope in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, you know. Caleb, for bear witness before the congregation, see the heritage of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Hey, hey, can I say something about that? That's Joshua and Caleb. All right. It was Judah, tribe of Judah, tribe of Ephraim. Now you then you had the other ten tribes, right? Them uh, them other niggas went over there too to scope the land. When you read the scope story, you know what the niggas came back with? A lack of faith. They came back with a goddamn excuse. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah, they was too this, they was too that. Caleb was like, Well, what you talking about? I think we can do this and that too. 
Joshua was like, I think we can do this. No, you know, they, they, niggas ain't on shit. And I, and, well, I'm speaking in Chicago, time. Them niggas wasn't on shit. But everybody else had an excuse. But they the ones that made it, man. Because they seen with different eyes, man. It's spiritual. They, they, they seen like, the spiritual. It's spiritual that, that Judah and Ephraim, like, had Judah had the Saudi king and Ephraim had the north that came to the top tribe. So, top tribe. Yeah. Go ahead. So, all right. Uh, Elias was being zealous and firm, and for the law was taken up into heaven. Which is Elijah, you know. Elijah was being up, you know. And that's a heavy deal. And look, and, and, and it goes, and it goes back to uh, I believe one of you brothers said it about having that everlasting name. You know, these are all men who names is written, man. Everlasting name, man. Hey, hey. So, so what's your legacy? What's what, what what's gonna be your shot? You know, Sham in the Hebrew uh, is his name. When you go look up that name, it goes into reputation. So what's gonna be your reputation, man? The nigga that dropped the cloud and smoked some blood. Hey, 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 because uh, hey, hey, Cora, Abram, and Dayton, they famous too. Yep. For fucking rebellion, man. Two thirds. So 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 two thirds beside them famous for being faggots. So what's gonna be your reputation? Does everybody wanna be African? Hey, them sodomites was um Africans. Even even them uh even even them two soldiers who fish your house shot. Them niggas famous. Ooh, they gonna get fucked <laughs> up. They gonna get it, man. Hey, but them niggas wicked, man. That's why the Lord say when he come, he's gonna come back with his reward with him, man. It basically to reward every man according to his works, man. Whether good or bad. According to the they was doing. Right. So whatever you did, whatever you sold, that's what you gonna reap. You know, you wanna be disobedient, because a lot of you a lot of you niggas just just completely disobedient, man. Period, man. In order, man, to order, man. In leopard chain of spots. <laughs> Negative. So <laughs> hey, these niggas, hey, hey, let the wicked be wicked still. And the righteous be righteous. And, 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 and cause hey, these niggas don't do them, man. Hey, so we do we we don't know. But well, guess what? The scriptures do. The yeah. spirit of Yahweh Shah do. This book do. So that's why the scripture says, What try the spirit by the spirit is where they have the most high, man. So if you take heed to this word, John the 10th chapter, Yahweh Shah said, My sheep and my voice, man. So you're gonna do the things that the Lord said do. Simple and plain, and guess what? They coming out of the mouth of men, oh, men that shit piss and, 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 and get right, sick, man. Right. Just like Yahweh Shai did when he walked on this planet, man, because he came in the flesh, dumbass niggas. Hey, so who, 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 who? So you telling me the the the, uh, the apostles? They made epistles. They wrote them in letters. So you telling me the men of the Lord? And, and they going what, what's happening now? The the elders and the apostles in the middle of the Lord are doing the same exact shit, man. Electric epistles. Electric epistles. That's, that's, that's all it is, man. Video. So you niggas, you niggas are stupid, man. You just making excuses to be a nigga. To be a nigga. So your best it. bet, your best bet, you already fucked. You gonna continue your wickedness. Your conduct is already fucked. You might as well be a nigga. Stop oh, going on the line. Oh, stop quit. going. Stop. Just quit. Just be a nigga. If you want to be a nigga, just be a nigga. You shouldn't give a fuck who looking at you. You already a nigga. You putting yourself in the worst of jail. But now you now, cause now you got you got men that's following you, and their blood is on your hands, man. All the niggas who watching you, all the niggas who follow you and actually believe in you, coming to what you saying coming to the camp and all that shit, all that blood gonna be on your hands, man. So you gonna get beat with the most stripes, more than them. Fucking niggas, y'all you, you, conduct is way out of fucking order, man. You telling me you niggas the men of the Lord? Fuck out of here. You got your bullets with your teeth, boy. Right. Nigga, please. <laughs> nigga, please. <laughs> you ain't no Bruce Lee, boy. You ain't no Bruce Lee, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. This Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy work, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would, I would thou work cold or hot. Right, so nigga, the Lord either wants you, uh, I better you just be a nigga. You in this truth and you faking the funk? Faking the fucking funk, man. Sitting oh, in the crib scratching your balls. <laughs> That's some right, eat some goddamn Captain Crunch, Fruity Loops, whatever you eat. <laughs> Take some. Oh, 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 hey, got that no. Old time, old time. Right, old time you got ulterior motives. <laughs> Hey man, because I'm telling you, man, if this something like Nate and them niggas, oh, they can't, they teach you not the name. He's done. Hey, look, the other Malcolm said it. All right, Nate, you got the videos and shit. Where's your men? And they sit down. Man. All these men, 
you can't name one time. You think about it, man. Think about one no time when you see an individual from IUIC do a sit down and upload it to anything. The scriptures say, I'll Then you see, he sell the breakdowns. He got DVDs of this breakdown, of all breakdowns of that. And how should I say it, uh, Matthew? Uh, he, he, said, no, he said, give freely. Free, but he also say, should be like uh, uh, flowing living, living water. You should basically this knowledge gonna come out like from us, like living water, man. Freely, like, freely, uh, what freely receive, freely give. Right. right. So, yeah. so the real men of the Lord, I'm gonna be constantly doing it. The scriptures say, rising early, be, be times, man. In season, out of In season. season, out of season. I mean, the work Conduct, show for itself. Man, simple. <laughs> the work show for itself, man, who the men of the Lord are. Huh? He says, Paul disputed daily. He said, yeah. as his custom was to go ahead and dispute the temple. Yeah. They constantly in this thing, pumping this word, man. Pumping, not having a motherfucking uh, a wedding and playing the violin and shit, nigga. Yeah. All right, yo, yeah. just getting on the line every Saturday, your whole mission to talk shit about other niggas. Unless you do all your goddamn days of your life anyway. No just talk shit about you niggas that's week? supposed to be your homie. You talk shit about them behind their back to the other nigga. You talk shit about that nigga to the other nigga. Or talk shit about you to the other nigga. Man, if you just another militant uh, camp, ISUBK, teaching shit about uh, mermaids and shit. All, and I'm talking about them going through the different groups, man. Come. Are they not bright on their tongue, man? They're not putting themselves in, in proper conduct. And that's why they're speaking and doing bugged out shit. They didn't discipline themselves, man. They want to make it fit their fucking lifestyles. That's exactly what they did. You gotta because lose your life right? to the truth. Because what they what basically being disobedient, them niggas are warlocks, man. They they're warlocks, man. They they they, they, they using they using the scriptures and they being witches with it, man. They being they being demons with it, man. Uh, they they use they using it because all the things are devils. The they, they, took, right? they took what they took the world and they own shit and right. tried to take the truth, and make it fit that. So it's like they're taking their own ass and turning and fixing themselves to the truth, man. They conform the, the, the truth to the world, man. So they made it a lie. They be lied to the Lord, like it says in Jeremiah 5. You got something up? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Point, go ahead. Uh, uh, I was saying, y'all, y'all using your liberty as a uh, cloak of maliciousness. That's right. Yeah. Y'all using the truth. Y'all you basically using the truth for wickedness. Now, you got niggas who use the truth to take, take a name of the Lord in vain. Yeah. They're not in the truth. They're not using the truth. They don't speak the truth. They ain't using the truth. The appearance of the truth. Yeah. Right. They're That's right. why the scripture says, having a form of. With the nine of power of the earth, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, with the nine of power of the earth. That's why the scripture tell you not to take the name of y'all, y'all shine vain, man. That's exactly what you're telling the truth. If you ain't teaching it directly and correctly, you're taking the name of the Lord in vain. Blasphemous motherfucker. That is blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Because you're breaking the law. The scripture says, What? You shall not bear false witness. In Isaiah, the Lord said, What? We are his witnesses that he that he that he is. So yeah. therefore, if you're not giving in First John, it says what that uh, we are the witnesses of Yahweh Shah. We here to bear record that Yahweh Shah came in the flesh. Yeah. So if we if we divert anything from this word, then we're bearing false witness, man. You know. That's what he's saying mm -hmm. about, about hey. Revelations, man. When we talk about it, take scared. it away, <laughs> take away from the words of this book. So we see the plans that's written that written, 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 man. You won't get destroyed, man. Or if you add to it, too, right. Take away, add breakdowns, add seven, extra You gotta expand your mind, brother. Simulate your mind, Simulate your mind. It's pride. It's pride. Quick script to real fast. Chase them, get you high. This is Sirach in 4, verse 24. It says, for by speech wisdom shall be known and learning by the word of the tongue you know and that's 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 the how you speak season with salt salt is these scriptures man it's this knowledge that's how you know a man of understanding when you see it right talk to him the reason the trial of man is in his reason that's man. right talk to him see what he nigga got to say this is uh this is the point verse 25 it says in no wise speak against the truth no i'm gonna what? read that again in no wise speak against the truth that's right but be abashed of the error of thy ignorance, man. So when you find out that you're going off according to some man, all oh, your shit, hey, hey, abashed means abased. Humble yourself, man. You know? Strive for the truth until death. But yet, yeah, niggas, niggas buck up more and more. That ain't what that's talking about. That's that brand. Hey, because niggas don't want to be wrong, man. That's the thing. Yeah, but it is true. But it is true. When you're going to be, man, look, man, you're going to have to take them L's, man. 
If you can't humble down and take a hell, hey, that ain't a L. If a brother rebuke you, or oh, you and you humble down to learn something, that's, that's not a L. That's a game. Bucking up, <laughs> bucking up and falling out, that's that's an L. Like that's really an L. Hey, that's look, I tell the take all the time, man. Hey, we sweat and training so we don't bleed in battle, man. If a brother rebuke you, man, yeah. and um, shit. It, 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 it look you you learn from that or you get some wisdom or some some um life experience and it's true from that that's not a fucking L, man no we ain't taking that ain't taking no way that's right you go through shade ecclesiastes 7 man by the saddest of the uh the contest the artist made better period all right man sometimes you gotta be a little sad man sometimes i'll be happy to make myself sad think about me gonna get lost and shit no, bro, when they try to kill free Willie, bro. So I do, bro. That don't make me sad, bro. I probably should. Yeah, I'm going to. Girl, you have a different thing. First Corinthians 9 and 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, it was unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have reward. But if it gets my will, a dispensation, but the gospel is committed unto me, you know. So we out there doing the work, you know, without constraint, man. What he, yeah, yeah. he put you in the word, let the spirit have free reign, you know. In season, out of season, and you got multiple brothers here who you go to their pages and there's a um um a multitude of videos, man. A lot of edification going on, man. Why are we looking for that reward, man? You know. And as the brothers say, we we, uh, we hope for the best, you know. But hey, man, hey, they have it back in mind that we might just. Endless, might just not get it, you know what I'm saying? But we doing the things that that's profitable to us. That's we get, we can't can get that reward. And that's why they hate us, man. They, that's why they hate us. Ultimately, because the Lord ain't fucking with them. And you know a tree by its fruit, right? Here it is. It's a, a stale ass, sick ass. No, it ain't got no leaves, no fruit on that motherfucker. It's a tree in the winter, <laughs> but it's in the middle of summer. Of course, that tree gonna hate on the uh, the tree they got. Uh, it's, it's they got all kind of different color trees. leaves on it. Got it in it. You know what I'm saying? The, the apostle, the apostle Todd said, the apostle Todd said it, man. We get niggas talking them all this shit on a damn comment, boy. You gonna really, you know, t say something back at them and shit? You clicked on these videos. Ain't no, nothing there. No hey, content. Hey, hey, none of the pages. Everybody talking shit. You clicking on the page. Ain't nothing in that motherfucker. You, 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 you go to this shit ain't shit on there, no, man. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no uh sit downs, ain't no videos that's on the highways and badways teaching this shit. Nope. Ain't shit on, it's just like jail mess, yes. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, warrior yeah. never been to battle. Uh, it's, like, right. it's, it's like that nigga from high school. Like, man, bro, I'm, I'm the rawest nigga ever, bro. You know, you can look way too see me on the court. Wait till you get to the court. I'm going to like grab yeah. football instead of basketball or some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got something for you. Uh, Matthias, Matthias told you about being a. Uh, he quoted uh, uh, a Jew inwardly, not outwardly, you man. So we talk about these guys that's not disciplining themselves, that's teaching bullshit, not bribing their tongue. Hey, this is James 126. If any man among you seems to be religious, and this word religious ain't the usual American newspaper word religious, going to the Greek, it means fear of the Lord, man. It's right. talking about uh, uh, your obedience to the Lord, following these laws, man. Don't the worship. worship. Don't be sexual, the worship. Right. If any man among you seems to be religious and bridle not his tongue, but deceived his own heart. This man religion is vain. And that's the point, man. It's about being an Israelite uh, 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 inwardly and, and outwardly, man. Not being a bunch outwardly. I'm the Israelite. But you teach your bullshit. You're not, you're not controlling. You're not disciplining yourself. Because what did he say? He says he's bridled not his tongue. And James also tells you a man that bridled his tongue can put his flesh under subjection. You're supposed to be able to bridle your tongue, speak truth, and, and put your body under subjection. If you're not doing this thing, no religion is, is pointless, man. Yep. All right? Yep. Pure religion. Our pure fear of the Lord, worship of Yahweh Shai and Shai, and none defiled before the most of Yahweh and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, so to execute righteous judgment. Psalms 87 chapter, man. Walk into the people, bring them the full truth, man. Do yep. not shun to give them the gospel. Yep. And also, how do you give them the gospel? Your conduct. First Timothy 4 and 12, man. Be an example of the believers. I was holding it too. This is uh First Timothy four. I'm gonna start at eleven. 
It says, these things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. Be an example. Be an example, man, of the believers. Showing the people, not just tell, hey, what, what the Pharisees did, what Yahshua said, man, look, do as they say, not as they do, because they say and do not. Ultimately, what the wicked the Pharisees give destruction, man. Yep. Death, curse. You can't just be a, 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 a one that speak these things, all right, but commit sacrilege. You gotta, you gotta obey, man. You gotta bridle your tongue. Otherwise, your religion is vain. And bridling your tongue is making sure you speak truth and have righteous judgment, but also con uh, conducting yourself properly. As James said, he can bridle his tongue to control the whole flesh, man. He likened it to you put a little bit into a horse's mouth, you move it ahead, and take where the fuck you it, it'll take you up, you make it go, man. That's right. All right, so. Is that the only no, keep going. It says, uh, "Be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity." So there you go. It all goes hand in hand. In word and in conversation, which is conduct, all right, and purity and faith. So you got to be an example. What does it mean to show that you got faith in the Lord? Trust me, how about show me how shy? Speaking the truth, all right. Uh, 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 your conduct and conversation which goes back to your citizenship in the kingdom of heaven so you got to have that mindset man as you one that's already in the kingdom uh uh, uh one that belongs and is a citizen of the kingdom of heaven man. Well, therefore as the elect that's right you don't live accordingly yeah. uh, back in james 127 pure religion undefiled before the hour of the father is this to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world that's you completely transforming yourself, man, to keep yourself unspotted from the world, being separate, holy. Be ye holy as the Father is holy, man. The holy means really sanctified, kind of separated, man. All right? So then to be completely different, man, to abstain from all appearances of evil. And when I say appearances, I mean according to the scriptures. Talking about raping a 13-year-old, saying that's how it should be handled according to the law. Not saying to do it. Not saying that we do it. Not saying that we desire it. Hell, the elders and the apostles made it clear if you get caught doing that shit, you have to goddamn camp. But the fact that in the law, uh -huh. all right, we, we mentioned it. So we're going to fucking do the whole council. That's not an appearance of evil. That's the truth. That's righteous judgment. You are a fucking have a worldly mindset, so you can't get that. Therefore, you're going to die. Your no religion is vain, man. Right. Like Mercy said, you've been terminated, man. Temperly. No, he saw temperly. Oh, uh, well, I thought you said you were terminated. They are. That's the ultimate thing. Both. Both. The both. Right. Shit. Who am I to fuck this But let me get this. Yeah, he hot. He hot. Um, Are you dropping? No. I'm I know dropping. he better not drop it, man. No. Go ahead. I'll <laughs> 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 this is uh, could have been four and nine, four and um, I'm going to start at seven. And, oh, and the peace of the Most High will pass all, all understanding. So keep your hearts and minds to Meshiach. Finally, brethren, what's your opinion about truth? Whichever things are honest, whichever things are just, whichever things are pure, whichever things are lovely, whatsoever things are a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things, man. And those are the characteristics that we brother been going into, you know, about um about the conversation and conduct of the holy men, man. What's good with that again? Uh Philippians four and um four and eight. You know, and, and um um those are very beautiful attributes to have, man. These are, because these attributes are um, um are totally contrary and, and different in a good way to those in the world, man. You need to get around with men of the Lord, man. You don't have to worry about certain um certain uh a niggard um uh characteristics coming out, man. You know? And how many times Paul wrote it in his epistles? He said, uh, we have not behaved ourselves unseemly. Mm -hmm. You know what manner of men we were when we were among you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah. Constantly, man. Yeah. The Psalms tell us what? To mark the perfect man, man. You know, I got to make sure, bro. This is Philippians one and twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. Only let your conversation be as becometh the gospel of Mashiach, that whether I come and see you or be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit. So like you said, if I may see you or hear that you stand, that you stand fast. Yeah, and what's yeah. that, man? It said we should have to report. Yeah. Even to them that are without. Yeah. So look, they hate us, man, but they really can't bring nothing, nothing on us. That's why they make up a bunch of weird shit. A, Maybe y'all can now make a video of me doing squats in the goddamn gym. That's <laughs> madness, man. That's the skull, nigga. No, you, 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 you working out better in your body. 
That's the skull. He, he, but he scored from for being overweight. But then when he work out, he scored from for doing that. Yeah, he yeah, he yeah, with yeah, these yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, but that's the same spirit that the wicked niggas had. That's why they said John the Baptist came neither eat nor drinking. Right. Uh, yep. uh, they yep. say how was shy came eating and drinking and you scoffed him. You called him a gluttonous in the wine bottle. That's right. Like scoff you, Murphy being small. Scoff me being overweight. I'm trying to fix the scoff. We can't win, man. man. Scoff Murphy. Doing that? Like, what the fuck? They, they, now you yeah. covered up. You still get scoffed. Yeah, I'm against scoff. They scoffed the elder by the how he told. How he elder how he told. How the fuck you get how you scold somebody about how he talk though? No. Because he's eloquent. Hey, yeah, right. Because hey. they can't fuck with us on this doctor, man. You the spirit of power, y'all about shooting out shot. So you gotta find something you don't you don't really like about. Right. Yeah, yeah, you right. gotta you know, like 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 a nigga woman, right? If you ain't did a wrong exactly or whatnot or a so-called wrong according to the world, but she really just wanna go be a hoe, she'll find anything about you just cause she wanna be a hoe. That's what niggas do, man. They can do whole ass shit like bitches, and the most high gonna visit them for that. Whole ass, ass niggas. Whole ass niggas. Well, you yeah. can't have a woman can't have your dick and shit. She'll find all types of shit trying to try to bring up shit, just make up shit because she angry at you because she couldn't get your dick. Yep. It says, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit, <laughs> with one mind, striving together for the faith of, of the gospel. So one that mean we gotta have the same doctrine man period man you gotta see the scripture say the continuing the things thou has learned being assured of whom thou has learned them from so i'm 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 a trillion percent sure that i'm learning from the men of the lord fully man. persuaded God, fully so persuaded says, man. Like, like, that every man really be fully man. persuaded his own mind man hey, i'm fully persuaded bro i'm so fully all right now this verse 28 is gonna go into what you brother just talking about and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition. A hey, uh, evident token of perdition. Evident means guaranteed. Token means sign. Perdition means destruction, man. <laughs> hey, so you whole ass niggas, man. Hey, it's a guaranteed sign of your destruction, man. But to you of salvation and that of the and yeah, that man. of the most high. Yeah, man, you still evidence, still guaranteed. Yeah. Well, if you continue, if, if this yeah. right here, yeah. man, that's this it. thing of ours, man, that's it. it's called for that. Is that just true for us? No, no, it's only for the elect. If it's, this is your wisdom we are and your understanding in the sight of the, the nations. Of nations. Hey, because the, ultimately these niggas not a part of the tabernacle of David. That's why they got a problem when we say this thing of ours, man. Not hey, because this they only they excluded. Hey, because this only this only to yeah, the elect of Yasha Allah, man. That's right. You know. Yeah, I pray for them, not the world. But for them, you sitting for your sins, right? For your sins, it's only, and that's only talking about the elect, because who's going to inherit it? Yeah, now, ultimately, niggas. all Israel, but on the first go around, the elect is going to get it, yeah, man. Gotta, the first fruit, yeah. baby, they, they going to get it. You niggas got to be, be right, be, be right. They got to be tried and refined. In that furnace, you know. Because right, because they ain't being tried on this side. They they. See the elect are being tried on this side. Yeah. All right, these niggas ain't getting tried. They look, they've been played. These niggas get man. No, they got tried and they failed. Man. They failed. Yeah, you right. You right. Horribly, man. No, you right. Got rely, man. Fucking hell. They got rely and deep fried. All right, it's uh, verse twenty-nine. Free fried beans. Like the first <laughs> <laughs> and the inside, <laughs> inside joke, inside joke. Go ahead. It says, "For unto you it is given in in the behalf of Mashiach, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sakes." That's simple. That's 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 right there. It's plain, man. And hey, we can finish that Romans eight. Can we follow uh, the shot? Can we get jump back yeah, there? Brother Taps, I had to do three, Go ahead, go ahead, Cap. This is Sirach, chapter 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Acceptable men. And a lot of y'all niggas lost faith with them, man. That fire hit him, boy. They couldn't yeah. take it. Hey, cause, cause to be honest, if you're old, if you're an older brother and you hear a young man, that's something to really deal with. That a young a man that's more than half your age 
is reproving you and correcting you. Who actually had somebody, somebody and did it. Right. Hey, hey, who uh who uh when you get when when a man can humble himself like that, man, or somebody who just came in the faith and his and his spirit took off took off, man, and the flame hit him. And it's in the Lord bring him up to a higher level, man. And you get rebuked from that brother. Hey, if you can't deal with that, humbling down to, to receive correction, man. Because ultimately, the correction comes from the Heavenly Father. Period. But he used men to bring it through. And he used his, his men, his servants, that truly believe, man, that their conduct is right, man. Well, he bestowed that flame on them, man. They're going to quote the scripture. They're going to quote the, uh, the Amos. You know what I mean? Look, look. The Lord does not reveal the secrets of the prophets. Niggas are saying, Yeah, the, the, what's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The prophets. Is who's gonna tell you that you're going off? Who's the, the prophets? Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's bugged. Uh, the most high come down in the chariot and say, Nineveh, right. you're gonna be destroyed. Did the most high come down literally and tell Egypt, Hey, I'm gonna burn this bit? Y'all, uh, oh, literally, no, no, the middle of the Lord, man. Hey, with the same mouth, they'll break it down, precept upon precept. Break See, down the, the prophet, hey, hey, the, the Lord speak through his prophets and then turn and say, You're gonna listen to a man, man in the flesh. Nigga, yes, nigga, they got all the prophets, nigga, what? And just a disobedient. That's a nigga who was raised by his mama, man. You niggas, you, you, scared. you scared of how would he actually spoke to you, man? You scared his voice over how you scared. You said you didn't want to. You didn't want to talk to most time, man. You, you went so right though. Hey, that's a sign of a reprobate, man. Void of judgment, void of discernment, man. <laughs> so my man, you better be glad the man is talking to say that uh, the Lord he speaks yet once or twice, and man perceive it not. Who is the Lord going to come? Like, obviously, if three brothers come to me and say the same thing. If what? really even one brother tell me some shit, I'm gonna hurt it to the brother if I really believe he's man in the Lord. You gonna consider it? You gonna examine yourself. You gonna right, examine right, yourself. Like, right, oh shit. Right, it's the reason this brother saying this to me. Right. You know, let me, let me, let me see. Let me check myself, man, and see what the fuck. You know? Yeah. Nah, he just, he just, he just saying shit. He fuck you, niggas, man. That's, Even that's if you, you feel the brother was wrong in the situation, you still be like, oh shit, shit. Well, let me, let me still examine you. what the fuck I didn't do. Buffeted, buffeted, wrongfully, man. Hey, man. Brother, tell me shit. I don't want to hear all the goddamn times. But I know it's the truth. All the time, bro. But I always respect the time, bro. I'm saying <laughs> you know you know the answer you want to hear, but brothers will tell you the truth. You know, but just, this is what you need to hear, man. Yeah. You just you told you this it's, a, it's, a it's like we can say. It's it's uh I think it's the keys, if I'm not mistaken. But it was uh, I think it happened with Ahab. <laughs> Basically, uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to that property. It was a hub. It was a hub. Yeah. It, it was yeah. him first came, him and Jehoshaphat. And the prophet uh Mike. My God. Yeah, he said uh Bro, he said, well, no. Like, don't get him. He going to say nothing good. He said, no, no. The no, 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 was in the spirit. Jehoshaphat he said, let's get somebody else. He said, is there not a prophet of Yahweh here? Yeah, because all them niggas was just yesterday. The Jehoshaphat perceived that the spirit. He said, no. And they, they was was another prophet. Yeah, that was going on. They was idolaters. He went, they, when he went and got the horns and shit and got emotional with these horns, they did the same story. He said, these horns, I'm going to smite Ray Mark Gilead. And, and Jehoshaphat, yeah, 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 Jehoshaphat yeah. was like, "Look, man, get somebody else." <laughs> right? He seen that bullshit, <laughs> like, man, man, look, nah, get nah. somebody else. And, and then another brother got his ass took out. Cause yeah, and Jehoshaphat said, "Yep, gotta go." But he had even it was so cold it was set up by the Lord. Cause when you read the story, um, Ahab, the other king who who was meant to die, he put on Jehoshaphat garment, and he still got killed. No, no, he, he no. put on the uh, regular clothes. Right, right. He, right. he put Joseph on the different garment. Still had Come. on the kingly garment. Come. So when they yeah, see them, they like they go to King of Israel, and Joseph was like, "No, nigga, that ain't me, nigga." <laughs> Hey, but Ahab yeah, still got his ass murked out exactly. there. Why he was he trying to be out there in the skies, man. Yeah, he put on some regular clothes, God, man. and he still had on the king garb. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Brother's gonna tell you the fucking truth, man. The truth ain't always like hey, niggas in the world tell you the truth. Heard it, man. In uh, in uh, what was it? In Kings, man. Who was it? Uh, who told him uh, you should surely die, Ahab? That's what we talking about. It's Elijah. That's his tweet. That being said, hey, that was a heavy tweet. Elijah. Yeah, it's Elijah. Hey, that was a heavy tweet. Elijah. Yeah, 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 Elijah. Yeah,
Hey, this brother had a scripture. Okay, okay. Romans 13 and 1 Peter 5. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's roll this up. Well, shit, hey, hey, let it go. Oh, that's Colossians 3. I was reading it. Let it ride. 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 That's what you want. You want a brother to be man and correct you so you know you go down the path you need to go down. This is uh, Proverbs uh, 27 and 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, you fucking come up with you with that smooth shit, tell you everything you want to hear, just stab your ass in the back, man. I had an old nigga come to me and was like, come on, man, I just need to be dry for you, man. I'm going to get this money. I give a thousand dollars. I say, nigga, I'm not gonna do that shit, nigga. The fuck, nigga, trying to talk smooth to get you to go drive, and you be the nigga to get murked. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? The how, fuck. How was y'all with shopping trade? Hey, nigga, still. Kiss. Kiss, man. Hey, the scripture said. The scripture said, better be the the what the wound of a friend than the kiss kisses of an enemy, man. Because that that wound of a friend is him actually rebuking you to get you straight, but that kisses of the enemy, he kiss you on the cheek. Damn right. You know, no, no, do as thou will. God. Your son, your, your, your son brought up a faggot and you go, oh, well, I love you anyway. She you you know? Too. You the Lord don't love you. <laughs> you love some faggots and some well, adulterers, you don't love the Lord. That goes to the law of Leviticus. It says, hate not thy neighbor in thy heart. That's thou right. shalt not suffer sin upon him. Rebuke him, man. Yep. You gotta rebuke him. All right, so if you, if you don't rebuke him, that's actually hatred. That's actually being his enemy. That's but right. I don't go out there to go to, like, I see, I'm not going to go to try to correct them. I don't care about them enemies. They are enemies, man. Fuck them. All right, but with, with your brothers, if I see y'all going out, you know, I'm going to say something quick. And I and, and most of the time, it ain't going to come out too nice. Hey, but what that's not up. Hey, because what it says, it says, we judge them that are within. The uh, most high judge them that are without, man. You stay listening hey. to them that are perfect. Oh, you <laughs> I can't <Come>. say anything. <laughs> oh, I got you. Don't worry, man. I, I know. Trust yeah. me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we got each other's back. For real. Why yeah. would you want that? I, I don't want to. Why would you want to die? Ecclesiastes 4, man. Thank you, man. If one fall, hey, 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 his fellow there to help him up, man. You know? That's what that's what we're here for. Hey, this is how you know that you are my disciples. You can have love one toward another, man. You know? And that's a part of being unified, man. By a brother rebuking you and, and pulling you up, man. And making sure you making sure that you you are it, man. That you follow, that you your conduct is in order. Hey, a major part of this gospel is how we treat one another, man. Man, hey, what's that? You say if you love your brother uh, uh, as you love yourself, you basically did all the commandments. Man. Hey, because hey, it said in John, what, what, what it say? It says, hey, hey how, how can you say you love the Most High, but you haven't seen, haven't seen. but you hate your brother, but you see every day, man. Say right next to you, every day you speak to God. You talking shit against him, smacking yeah. him. Putting right. your hands on, all talking shit. When you see him, it's oh shit! I tell you, man, this is you your blessing hell. him in the name. Then once you get two feet away down the street, now all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. niggas some goofies. Right. That's yeah. a whole ass nigga, man. Yeah. Yeah. Goofies. Oh, fuck Romans chapter 13, starting at verse 11, we'll go down to 14. It says, And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Give it to me, For now is our salvation near than we, when we believe. Right. So, so hey, a lot of you niggas gonna stay in this slumber, man. But to the elect, man, get about that shit. Man. Hey, it's not, hey, if you can't see it, it ain't for you, man. Look around. If you, you can't, can't see it, go. hey, everybody knows something. You can ask a random motherfucker something. Hey, you can feel it. Something gonna happen, man. Everybody feel it, man. The scriptures say that the Lord gonna pour out His Spirit upon all flesh, man. Oh, one absurd time. That's, that's how the y'all niggas gave. If y'all can't perceive that the, the same, we, we man, you had men that we once called brothers, who who are also even though they fucking cursing you out. Hey, in a sense, still don't want to see you get destroyed like that unless you fucking repent. But hey, y'all just can't see it, man. Y'all ain't deserving time, man. Just say, hey, I'm about to go fucking light this blunt. 
You know this. That's Put that shit Snapchat. is crazy. Like, in, in this time, <laughs> this shit can happen any any day, bro. What is we had like the I had a vision. The job I work at now, they they won't they came to get me at that job. And most of the time, when the Lord show me some vision, a lot of the time they be fucking true. Where it's like, I'm hoping that do happen. Cause that's we getting the fuck out of here, man. For you to fucking turn around now, like man, my brother telling me all this and this and that, but you you niggas are gonna get destroyed, man. Simply, how how do you say it's evident, man? I appreciate He's um Proverbs twenty nine and one. He that being awesome and reproved hard in his neck Bingo. shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy, man. Yeah, so, you niggas, hey, you, you niggas want to keep falling. You niggas want to keep stumbling over the same exact thing, man. That's that's what you call insanity. If somebody tell you, look, instead of doing this, go this way. It's like you trying to beat the level of the game. You keep doing the same exact thing that you did to fuck up the first time. <laughs> it's like when you when you were smoking weed in the world, then you knew this shit was going off. Now you're going back to fucking doing that shit again. Everybody you lost your fucking mind. Everybody, a lot of niggas was deep down inside. Because what's the first first thing you're doing? Well, no, I did when I walked into the trip. I asked, you, was it okay? And I got a, a wrong answer at that time, but I knew like, well, we can smoke weed. So that you do know in the world, you shouldn't be doing that yeah, shit. But now you're on the Bible in your head. Now you're going back to that shit. Now you were sure it's not okay. And then you go back to it. <laughs> As a dog. Damn. It's like you want to go back to this to this shit. Being a nigga. It's like the world. And it's the crazy part is you were worse in the truth. Now you got brothers in the truth looking at you like looking at you fucking like you out your fucking mind. And the people in the world gonna mock you too. Like what you preaching? Huh. One you was one of them. Exactly. But you, nigga, I knew you. You was a nigga the whole time. That's nigga. Luke fourteen. I knew you wanted to hit this one the, the whole count, time. It says the council calls. You know, it said what man sitteth not down and see if he have enough material to, to continue to build it. Then he said, yet he started. He don't have enough. Roughly paraphrasing, if he don't have a, a enough material, those that see it will begin to mock him, man. Sure. Hey, this man started to build, and he didn't have enough to build, man. I was on that Israelite shit. Now what? Right. You know how niggas talk? Thought you was Israelite, dog. Yeah, nigga. Like that fucking that, that, <laughs> that, 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 that's like that man. You, you, you want some lean, nigga? And next yeah. thing, that's the next thing. Oh, yeah. They gonna be, they gonna be motherfucking justifying oh, the cold in yeah. cup, man. The double cup. Yeah. Fucking niggas, yeah. it's, it's just alcohol. Right. It's, it's medicine. It's, medicine. it's medicine. good for your body. Don't you drink not quill when you get sick? Right, ain't it? <laughs> hey, no, that's what a nigga say, man. Hey, nigga told me, don't you eat cheeseburgers? I say, nigga, I can eat a cheeseburger. It's lawful for me to eat a fucking cheeseburger. Right. I say, nigga, go see, go smoke a cheeseburger and see what happens, nigga. Nah, but nah, <laughs> but, hey, but you know what's going to be lawful? You know what's going to be lawful? You know what's going to be lawful? That goddamn RFID chip? Well, it ain't going off because you niggas are going to take the chip, man. Like that's that's a, that's it's evident that, that you will take that. They love this world. They love this world. They know they, 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 they daddy. So. They living after the fashions of this world, man. If they it's live good. to see that shit happen, yeah. man, these niggas gonna get judged. The Lord got some shit for them, man. The fuck out, he gonna get judged too. I, I gotta come preach that you say they love the world. This is First John chapter two verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. So what's in the world? Smoking weed, drinking lean, popping pills. Get lining's. Yeah. Hey, for one, you you get a lining long enough, man. That shit push your headlining back, man. You'll go bald, man. You get them head bumps. You putting that put on the back of your neck. I just say that's a like a, it, it is a small thing. If you can't let something that small go for, for the love of your house shy, it's like, bro, when it really comes down to your ass, like how I quote him said it earlier, when you ain't when you ain't eight in like four or five days. If shit look bleak, hey, because the Lord, hey, the Lord will wait until the end. You got the munchies. Come on. You hit your last backwood. You got the munchies. Hey, the Lord, the Lord, hey, <laughs> the, 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 the Lord, come, the Lord will come in the last, man. That last hour, you think he ain't going to come, that's when he'll come. But if your ass ain't got the, the patience to wait for it, because you, you ain't made the, the sacrifices now to get you there, your ass will die, man. I got on a piece of, yeah, a couple. There's no, that's like you done. No, what's like that? It is if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. So the love of the father ain't in you. Fuck nigga. For all bitch ass nigga. 
for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. Hey, because you niggas, you niggas get lines to look good for these hoes, man. That's all it is, Worship man. Hey, hey, you niggas praise the nigga woman, man. You get lying just to look good for a bitch? Bitch gonna fuck you regardless of what you look like. God knows. God knows. The fuck? And the pride of life is God not the father, but of the world. This, this world is gonna pass away. It's temporary. It's right up. Verse 17. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. So all this, all all that wicked shit you're doing. And that's the same for a season. You wanted to enjoy this fucking you wanted to enjoy fucking shit. This is basically shit. You just wanted to enjoy some fucking, not even a fucking consolation. This this shit ain't even worthy to be not a consolation. consolation. You wanted to just enjoy some some bullshit for a fucking moment. You like that's that's the spirit of Esau. That's really you. You fucking turned down the kingdom for that undone meat, man. Just said John John eight uh, twenty four like they follow. That's what it is. I mean, that's what Father Esau does. teach the world to do to live after the flesh. Yeah. What's the Messiah in the second chapter? Gives it, 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 it breaks it down, down man. They're living off these uh these instincts it, like now. It, it, it said what, man? Hey, hey, let us let us use the creatures that's in our youth. Let none of us uh go without our voluptuousness. You know, Love living up YOLO, that YOLO yeah, spirit, yeah, man. And they put it that's what Esau pushed. Push. And they put it yeah, on the game. Fuck life. who you wanna fuck, fuck what you wanna fuck. Yep. All that shit, man. Hey, and they yeah, try to push, we ain't we gonna leave anyway. We all gonna die and go, we might as well enjoy it. Like a nigga told me, man, a nigga say. And we all gotta go to the grave. Then when niggas who come back with time, enjoy it before yeah. I go there. <laughs> we'll check down things like that. Then when niggas who come back with man. Hey, man the guys a baby or some shit, some boy down shit happened to him. I worked it. I worked in the midst of the same physical labor home, man. Those niggas wicked as fuck, man. The long fucking sodomites, man. <laughs> <laughs> God, God, those mentally retarded kids, man. Yeah. They're they're man. They can't act on it, but. You, you observe them, man. Right? They had homosexual, you know, tendencies. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, not not as you say that, it just it took me back to when I was in high school, man. I had a little boy. Um, uh, he wasn't even little. He was probably he, was, he was bigger than me, shit. But he was a retarded kid. He came in the bathroom on me, man. And I'm like, I'm looking at him, so I'm thinking, I'm like, he offers shit, so I ain't gonna, you know, go out the way and do nothing to him. But he was like, uh, uh, uh let's do it. I say, do what? And he got the reaching of his pants and taking off the pain, he say, in the butt. I say, in the, hell no. And I went, and I, I was so fucked up. I was so fucked up off of man. I went and told the teacher and shit, and I feel like a victim. Like, I'm like, damn. That shit was so crazy. You know why your hobby fucking people up, man. I had a situation, man. Hey, look, I was, it was a nigga, it was a nigga in the world that was my so-called friend, right? Man, you know, we don't bring this friend. It was a nigga that was my friend, you know? So, so, uh, so we walking down the block. I get into it with the nigga woman, or whatever. We broke up, or whatever. He like, yeah, and I'm talking that fuck these hoes. I'm gonna give me a new bitch, all type of shit, right? This nigga say, fuck these hoes, man. Let's just be gay. I looked at what? that nigga, man. I looked at that nigga. I say, nigga, what? I'm like, bitches, fam. I don't know. Oh, no, they got a new term for right. it. I don't even want to say it, but I got to call a bro job. Oh, Look it up, man. But go ahead. Man. Shout out to Stop talking about this. Yeah, that, yeah, Jay Rickett, man. Talk about straight guys who be having sex with their friends. No, look, y'all some facts. Yeah, facts. He's gonna bring this out. This first John chapter, chapter two, verse seventeen. And the world passed away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So. So if we continue to do the things that we need to do and, and check our conduct, make sure we're on point, watching after your brothers, lifting the feet with knees, following the law, statutes, and commandments to your best of your ability wholeheartedly, continue to go through all afflictions that's set before us and keep going. Hey, it's 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 an everlasting, an everlasting kingdom waiting for us, man. Right. You know? And let me finish at Romans 13. Go, go, go. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Okay. Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time, that now is not a time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation near than we, when we believe. And that's evident now more than ever, man. 
Sam, you start to see houses pop off left and right, left and right. They ready to turn on the whole Babylon. These these countries are ready to to to, to give to give Babylon America over to the goddamn dogs, man. That pomper trumpet is rubbing these at least the, uh, these uh other countries the wrong way, man. Yep. The, the the EU was divided. All right, they got splits going on with within that. All right, uprisings of the people. Our salvation is near, man. This knowledge increased like it is, man. Brothers waking up across the globe. That's yeah. the most important sign right yeah. there. Right. Said when the, uh, the scripture, the gospel preached in the four corners, then show the end come. Oh, this homosexuality. Ah, yeah, they, they hide their sins, reach the heavens, because the homosexuality. What was that? Sodom they made their shit reach the high heaven. Same thing now. All right. Same thing right now. This place is fucking through. Verse 12. Through. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And be a watchman, not going to sleep on the watch. But being awake during the watch, man. Because it's to tell you the Lord, baby, whether he comes in the first hour or the fourth hour. You got to be watching. Can't be sleep on the watch. And you gotta get going back to sleep. The Lord said, Blessed is that servant whom he shall find so doing. So when he come back and he finds you working, man, he said it out of his mouth. Blessed is that servant. You know? Uh, he said, Let it put on the arm of light, man. Put, and cast off the works of darkness. Put off our old ways. Uh, uh, put off the old uh, uh, disorder. And God confusion doing our own will. Low level niggardness. Churlishness. All right, whatever your shit, your thing was, man, put all that shit off, man. Hey, put, hey, put on the arm of light, man. Live as the child of wisdom, child of light, man. All right, putting yourself under subjection. Now, hey, it says in Romans in the sixth chapter, knowing that he you will be yield your, your, yourselves to servants you are, whether that's to sin, uh, to death, or obedience unto righteousness, man. Life. All right, as we got to do, we got to be obedient, man. That's the bottom line. Ezekiel second chapter. Be not rebellious as this uh, rebellious house. Uh, Point blank period. All we got to do is obey. It ain't even that hard. Paul says what? The law was not made for a righteous man, but for, mm -hmm. for the wicked man. A murderer, etc. Which we all were in the world. You know, wicked, wicked as fuck. So guess what we got to do is obey what's written. It ain't that hard. Just I obey agree. what's written. No, you ain't got to think too much about it. Just obey what's written. You feel like you tweaking? Go to the scriptures, consent to the law. The law was good. Obey what's written, man. It says it's yeah. not no sin if it wasn't put it on. It says it's not grievous. Yeah. It's okay. You know? It really is just as simple as obeying, man. Obey. Verse 13. Without any fear and amazement, man, just obey. Verse 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and want wantonness. Good. Not in strike and envy, envy. Right. and just to serve it up that wants this is do enough, man, which is uh, unbridled lust, man. That's right, just doing whatever the fuck you want to do, man. All right, we, we're not to be that way anymore, man. We're to be in order, obedient, man. Go ahead. Verse 14 But put ye on the Lord, yet how was shot to mock me up, and make not provisions for the flesh. Build the lust thereof. And there you go. Make the first bit of fact here. We got here because we go This is first Peter chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. And there you go, man. We gotta put on the hour shy, man. We gotta have the scriptures that's from us to our eyes, man. Mm -hmm. All right, being active and ready, being vigilant. On the lookout for Satan. It's just to be Satan here at night. Now let me make sure I don't, I don't fuck up. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put myself in this situation. Get him to fuck up. All right, when the situation arises, some shit you can't avoid, you gotta it's immediately. No, let me be on point and be right. I gotta stick to the law, man. You gotta be vigilant. The Satan is trying to get your ass. And, and it says, uh, make not provision to the flesh. Now, uh, I, I haven't looked it up in the Greek, but uh, uh, in the English, provision is something to eat, you know, uh, like your food. So feed not the flesh, man. Brother just quoted uh, uh, the Roman six. Whoever you yield your members to, that's who you serving of. You know. Yeah, it's basically the same. It's the forethought of it from providential care, but then it's also the, the forethought that is probably care or supply. So it's the same thing. That's supply, you know. Thinking about it, you feed it to that shit, man. But on your house, man, we 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 think and meditate upon the spiritual. 
we, we seek after a, a Romans 7 chapter. After the inward man, all right, which is your mind, your spirit, we do what? We keep the law of the Lord. That's, right. that's our that's our desire, man. Your desire should be to, to live perfectly in this thing. All right, and I mean being able to obey at all. But we currently trapped in this flesh box, so guess what we can do though? Be vigilant. So we can, like the said, to rock, offend less. That's right. That's it. All right, you want to end it up? Come, all right, go ahead. So with that, let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 Shine. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.